Yeah, these aren't uh, these aren't much to look at now, but this is oh, pulp stock for paper making. So um, everything I do is recycled at this mm -hmm. point because I don't have um, a beater for plant fibers. Um, they're a little bit too strong to use in a blender. Um, so what's with the, the so just sh if you can take me through the process. What do you start with that? What's what is that and yeah. Um, I have a bunch of bags here of uh, paperwork, junk mail. Um, that's mostly what I start with, printer paper, um, materials from my old job um, that I just run through a paper shredder to get to a more uniform size. Um, and then I boil it to sort of, I, I boil it with a bunch of water in order to soften it up a little bit. Then I run everything through a blender and get this really nice pulpy, mixture um what, what could i compare it to sort of like cottage cheese maybe i actually made my frames my uh mortar and decal out of nice. two matching yeah two matching picture frames that i got at goodwill um one is lined with a mesh and the other is lined with um window framing insulation, that door frame, that foam. I put all my pulp into a bath, get a nice solution going. Um, and then I'm sure you've seen the motion where they sort of run a frame. Yes, back and forth. The, like and pull it back up. the ball is stock that I use or that I made but wasn't ready to use quite yet. So, so this you can is store it until ready until ready yeah. to use. So I pushed all the water out of it, pushed it into a snowball, let it dry on the windowsill, and this is ready to be just add water, basically. Cool. Um, um, and it'll slowly separate and break up, and it'll turn itself back into a bath, and I can run a frame through it. I've sort of gotten used to making a big batch and pulling sheets and trying to get more finesse a little bit more out of it with how much I'm pulling onto the frame each time each time and I've gotten pretty consistent results um I've got a little selection here um yes I love those multicolored tissue papers that I pulled from multiple sources um these three are all printer papers um, with varying degrees of ink still in the paper um, that sort of gave it a little bit of a tone you're at your home studio you're forced to come up with ways of doing what you're used to without the tools that you normally have available and that's where innovation comes from